Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at doing an integral secant squared of y times cosine cubed of tangent y. And this is a trig integral, but it's got some more pieces to it than at first glance. So the tangent y is being plugged into the cosine cube. So whenever I see a composition, I immediately start to think of doing a substitution like a um, w equals tangent maybe since that's on the inside. So if I do w equals tangent, I need the derivative secant squared to be outside, and it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to say let w equal tangent y, then dw, the derivative is secant squared y. So my integral actually just becomes the integral of cosine cubed w dw. So then we're just down to how do we integrate cosine cubed of w. So integral of cosine cubed of w follows our trig strategy. So our trig strategy is going to be take one of the cosines, pull it over by the dw. So that leaves cosine squared w and then cosine w dw. So basically setting ourselves up for a substitution for cosine, I'm sorry, for sine. So at this point, what we want to do is use our trig identity. Um, cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. So that's 1 minus sine squared w times cosine w dw. So then we're going to do a substitution. I'll say maybe like um, u is equal to sine of w. So u equals sine of w. And then du is equal to cosine of w dw. All right, so that's going to give us the integral of 1 minus u squared du, which is u minus u cubed over 3 plus c. And if we go back to, okay, in terms of w, that's actually sine of w. So this is going to be sine of w minus sine cubed w over 3 plus c. And then we have to say, okay, what was w? Well, w was just tangent of, of y. So this is actually going to be the sine of the tangent of y minus sine cubed of tangent y over 3 plus c. And that is our answer. So basically just had to do a substitution before we could move on to our trig strategy. So that's how we do it.